This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII. It didn't really take too long at all. I don't know if you were paying attention to where the timer was at here for gameplay before. I wasn't, so I don't know, but I don't think it could have been more than like a half hour or 40 minutes. And I did go ahead and get 20. Plus, I realized that if you had a high enough level one, you would also... You could, could also... Um, you could draw holy magic from him. So I don't have to worry about refining holy. We already got holy for everybody. I didn't go ahead and junction that yet, so I am going to go ahead and put that on now and see where it goes. Did he use it at all? Okay, yeah. It works for status defense, I guess, and adds for all of these. I think if I did, like, auto magic, it'd probably put somewhere else, maybe? No, still not. No, well, there we go, anyway. Now let's do a little bit of a uh, little bit of work here. Hey, was this one of the ones I ne needed to do? Yeah, I did want to get some Ultima Stones. Okay. Just to fill out my total here. What was the other part I wanted to do? Besides using them for weapons. One other part I wanted to do, right? Ah, uh, yeah, the ammo. That's right. But that'll still leave me with six, and all I should need for weapons is four, so that'll leave me with two extra. And I do have these moonstones, which I don't need anymore, but we'll just go ahead and sort my items to put that in order there. I did also look at why it wasn't showing up for my dark matter junk, or my dark matter synthesis or refining. And it turns out that in order for the 100 curse spikes to refine into one dark matter, you need to get Siren up to level 100 for that to work, apparently. The only other one I saw that seemed to matter for any refining is um, Doom Train also needs to be at 100 for something. I don't remember what it was, but... Yeah, so you're going to have to get everybody up to a level 100 probably before you can get your GS up to that point anyway. So if you do try to do that and you're doing the curse spike farming, you also need to take that into consideration. I figured since I'm this close to everything, I decided I'm going to do something else as well. We are going to go to the island closest to heaven or the island closest to hell. I think I'll leave Rare Item off, because it actually seemed to inhibit what I'm trying to accomplish in some of these, at least. But I'll put Mug back on. Because, like, for the Energy Crystals, it seemed like you have a better chance at getting more of them to drop from a high-level Elnoil without that equipped than with it. Seems kind of weird to me, but... Now I need... Dragon Skins and Marlboro Tentacles. First of all, I suppose, let's just double check. And make sure I didn't get more Marlboros. To the point where I could use that. No, I don't.
because I need this one. I need three more dragon skins. Preferably four, so I have one left over. That will use all my adamantine too, but I can buy stuff and refine it that way if I really care about getting that back. And for her, I need two marble of tentacles. For the dragon skins, I might just be able to go back to that um, that forest over at Galbadia Garden. Because I think it was the higher level versions of those enemies that were giving me the skins anyway. The Grendels. So I'll try that first. Just because if that works the way I think it should, that should be pretty quick. The problem with the island closest to heaven and the island closest to hell probably be that I'm not going to guarantee to be able to run into a Marlboro. I'm also going to redo my status defense junctions before I try that. Because I remember how much of a pain it was to try to get the Marlboro tentacles when I was trying to get Doom Train. Confusion protection is a must, it seemed like. And then probably... I can protect against maybe Berserk and Blind and Silence, and like some of the other big ones. initiative probably give him a first chance to go to see if I can mug him and it seemed like when I hugged this wall I got encounters against these guys pretty commonly yeah so let's go for it no dragon pins that's not what I want Next one, I'll just try not to mug him, and I'll just try to see if I can get a drop instead of a mug. Erlang's so slow, it shouldn't be too hard to just keep skipping his turns. Might need to level him up or level him down. If I don't have luck here pretty quickly, I'll just move on and then in between sessions I'll check this out maybe. Depending on how long it takes me to get the Marlboro stuff done, I suppose. Hopefully that'll save me from having to edit stuff out. Yeah, this guy has enough HP, that's for sure. But yeah, with our defense the way it is, that move doesn't really do anything to me. Alright, Angelo. That was enough to finish him. Hey. I'll take it. Yeah. Just the fins again. one more. I'll try and mug again. If I don't get what I want, 
probably just run away. Well, I guess I could probably run away either way. I think you'll get to keep your steals even if you run. I don't know. If I get what I want, I'm not going to take a chance on it. I'll just finish him off. But at this point, I'm almost assuming that I'm not going to get what I want. I'll probably just do dragon fin again. Power wrist. Well, that's different. Still not what I want, though. All right, let's go to one of the one of the islands and try to do some Marlboro hunting. We're closer to the to the one over here. It should be the one the island closest to hell. I am going to save it, and we'll readjust our status stuff. And yes, it does say it. Island, island closest to hell. Fuse and Berserk are probably pretty good. But blind. Yeah, well, sounds good. There will be draw points on this one, just like there were on the island closest to heaven. But yeah, everything you encounter here should be at level 100. Yeah, they are going to hit pretty hard. Yeah. We're healing this guy as well, so I'd rather not mess with him. If we can run away, otherwise we might just end up... Having to reset. Okay. most likely to run into those guys again or the ruby dragons both of which would probably heal from fire so let me just switch to blizzard and these are pretty cheap and easy to restock so I can just use X potions to heal yep another one of these guys Let's just see if I can get rid of him. Yeah, I kind of feel like we're probably still in trouble here. Actually, I think Squall's the one that has it. 
No? I'm not going to worry about drawing, I guess, so let's leave item on just in case, but let's put level up and level down on here. So I can go ahead and move these guys down some levels, maybe. Okay, there's another one. Hopefully Blizzard doesn't heal him. Yeah, that brought him down like 50 levels right away. Take him down and... Okay. Nope, that was enough to finish him off. Is Dragon Fang something I didn't have yet? Probably not. Yeah, we already had some. Apparently. I think if I just take him down to level 50, though... I think most enemies would still have their highest level stuff available. Well, okay, here's some of these guys. Let's see if I can get a good dragon fins. Okay, so at the highest level, they do have dragon fins, it seems like. So the other one, I'm gonna try to get him leveled down before I try to mug him. I think I better try to do one more level down before I try to bug him or take him out now. Yeah, this is comparable probably to the ones I was fighting before over in the forest. Let's just go ahead and take him out and see if it's the drop or work. Ah, dang it. Use an X-Potion I didn't mean to. Forgot about the memory cursor being set. Or maybe not forgot, but just wasn't paying enough attention. Well, I guess if Irvine actually get the turn in here, maybe I'll try the mug. I was just assuming we'd probably finish him off before they got back to that point. And we did. Still dragon fins though. Yeah, I'll probably have to look it up and see what level I'm gonna want them at for the dragon skin drop. And here's one of these big boys. Pretty sure we got Meteor and Flare for everybody.
might have to go to the island closest to heaven. I think they all have strong enemies. And there, I think you can get Marlboros in both of them, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Because I think they do have slightly different enemy pools. Or maybe they have a different chance of showing up or something like that. Head, heal me. Another thing I thought about that I wanted to check out. I don't think I've taught Quistus all of her blue magic yet. Let me see if I have the items necessary for it. Got that one. That one. That. That. Pretty sure we got that. And that. Got that. I'm pretty sure I got that. Got that. Okay. Well. I don't have any other ones. I'll have to check and see what's... What I'm missing. Because I think she... She at least has one more. And it doesn't let me scroll down further, but I'm not sure if that means... That there aren't any four down there, or if it's just that I can't do that until that level's available. That tier, or whatever you want to say. There we go. Okay. Do we want to try and mug him at the highest level? I suppose. Yeah, it comes in with that bad breath right away. But we're protected against quite a bit. Yeah, sleep. I guess. I don't know if I even got sleep magic. I don't think I ever drew that or refined it. Well, hopefully somebody wakes up before he finishes us off. Yeah, that doesn't count for waking us up. I'd like to try to mug him at the highest level here. Because I would kind of assume that would give, give me a better chance of getting what I want. And then I'll try to level him down to finish him off. I'm hoping at the highest level here, maybe I can mug two of them. Alright, even better. What does he have? Yeah.
I need to level him down one more time. Although we are doing a lot of damage to him with our hits here. It's taking it though. As you can see, we're certainly fortified enough to be able to survive on the island closest to hell here. And as far as random encounters go, these are going to be the toughest parts in the game. Just because, yeah, these are automatically level 100 stuff, even if you're not a level 100. So it's the only place in the game where they're going to not necessarily, or maybe not only place in the game, but one of the only times in the game where stuff isn't going to be level kind of relative to where you're at. Okay, let's go ahead and get that weapon upgrade. That should be all I needed. And I don't have to use up anything, so we still got some items left in the inventory there. Okay, Strange Vision, Shooting Star, Save the Queen, Exeter, Lionheart, so yeah, we just need the one upgrade here to have the best weapons for everybody. It's the three dragon skins. that back on to get out of here. I can encounter Grendels here, but we have seen I think that, yeah, the garden by, or, or the forest by Travia Garden is going to be a much more reliable place to find them. And if I keep the level up and level down abilities equipped, well, I can get them at whatever level I want them there anyway. I'd take them up to 100 if I wish. Where the hell's the guard? Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it back on auto the way it was. I don't think I'm going to have to try to um, seek any more Marlboros. And yeah, this happened a couple times when I was facing the Elnorals too. And this is what Odin will do. We'll just show up here at the beginning of battle with Van Tetsuken. And that's pretty much just going to be a one-hit KO. I don't think it ever misses. So, that's one of the things, like if you're worried about trying to get bugs and drops, can be a little bit annoying because it'll just get in your way. Like that time I was going to use level down, but he didn't give me a chance to do it. How many levels is it going to take him down, I wonder? It'll let me know where he was at, kind of. Okay, so he must have been level 44, I think. I think it just cuts it in half.
friggin' thing. So, those were the ones I wanted for the Lionheart earlier, but not what I need right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it there for today, so I will just go ahead and off screen. I'm gonna look up the stats for the Grendel and find out what it, what he needs to be for me to get the drop I need or if it needs to be a mug. Pretty sure they can usually be either, but we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.